Men's This Bout is sponsored by Just Salad, 320 East 51st Street and 134 West 37th Street. Also sponsored by Blade Contractors and CEO Michael DePompo and Metropolitan National Bank President Mark DeFazio. Boxing fans, this bout is scheduled for six rounds of action in the middleweight division. Our judges overseeing this bout, John McKay, Oscar Perez, and Louis Rivera. And our referee for this bout will be Danny Schiavone. Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight from Hannibal, Missouri. He weighed in at 162 and one quarter pounds. Red, white, and blue trunks. Professional record, 20 victories, 14 losses, 14 knockouts. Please welcome Steve the Spoiler Walker. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from New York City, New York. He weighed in at 161 and one quarter pounds. White iridescent trunks, chocolate brown trim, perfect professional record, eight victories, no defeats, seven knockouts. Please welcome Kid Chocolate, Peter Cullen. Danny Schiavone with our instructions. Dress room, expect you to obey my commands at all times. Keep the bow clean. Touch him up. Go back to corners. Good luck. Eight rounds, middleweights. Eight rounds, super middleweight battle. This one's scheduled for eight. And you get a look at a monster and Peter Quillen. He comes out of the corner looking every bit the part of an undisputed, undefeated prospect as uh, he has handled his opposition and he slaps Walker immediately with the left hand and says, welcome to New York City. Right Peter Quillen is one of the brightest prospects in the middleweight division right along with Joe Green. I'm telling you, they're within miles of each other. Oh, big knockdown right away. Out of the way, and oh my goodness. Walker is hurt badly. He's not getting up. Oh. And Chabon counts him out. Sensational knockout. He still doesn't know where he is. There's no way this should even get him up. Walker he is, is out. Hurt badly he the is out. He's coming to attend him. Oh my goodness. So quickly. You saw that first shot, and here's another look at it. Randy, as uh, this was a knockout of distinction, and if you wanted to put yourself on a middleweight or super middleweight map, I'm Peter telling Quillen you, did it right here. I'm telling you that this guy, along with Joe Green, there may not be two better middleweight prospects on this planet Earth. Pulverizing shot coming up right here, Randy Gordon. Watch this. Quillen. He jabs, 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 hooks, misses with the hook, and then steps in. He misses a couple more times. A Ooh. sharp left hook on the point of the chin. And this is something you don't like to see. No, he's fine. Let me Steve tell you Walker's still down. The uh, position's you know, doing a good job. You know what? Keeping him down. The best thing to do is you've got a fighter who's groggy. Why stand him up? Only let it to let him fall down, which I've seen on so many occasions. Our doctors in New York, I think, are the finest in the world. They will not sit him up until they're convinced that he's focusing on them. Once that happens, then they let him sit up. From the sitting position, then they'll help him up on the stool, and from that position, then they'll let him stand up. But you don't want to take a fighter and stand him up right after he's been knocked out like that with one quick shot. And See, a question that you have to ask, Randy, Peter Quillen now 9-0 and with eight knockouts. Who was the guy who survived? <laughs> That's an amazing display of power, quickness, skill. Obviously, a young guy had Walker out class, but Walker's been in 34 professional fights. Should have enough experience to know that he's got to protect himself in that first round and not let Quillen land a bomb early on, but that's exactly what happened as Quillen finally found a range after feeling around with a couple of jabs. 
and you see him, they call him Kid Chocolate. He throws out chocolate after each of the bouts. We need a couple right here. I got you one, Randy Gordon. <laughs> oh, thank you. You said this kid was sweet. Oh, uh, he is sweet. He is you sweet. You were right on the money. Kid Chocolate. The fans love him. He is becoming more popular by the second. He's now being such a gentleman about it. He's going over, congratulating Steve Walker, who I wanted to tell you, I was about to tell you how tough he is, that in his last six bouts that he's lost, his last six losses, the guys he fought have been 15 and 0, 15 and 0, 31 and 3, 19 and 1, 11 and 2, and 7 and 0, and now tonight against one of the best prospects in the world. For their after-school program called Aces. How about it for the kids? Kids, right here. And this guy's a perfect type. Does charitable work. He's got the kids, kids in the ring. That was a knockout of devastating proportions. A pulverizing shot right out of the blocks here by Quillen. And we're getting another look at it. And this is a knockout I could watch a hundred times. It's that sweet, Randy. And I think he misses these actually almost on purpose. They are just merely range finders. He kind of paused with them. He gets his range, then steps in with a sh just a perfect. Oh, once again. Perfectly timed left hook that he turned his whole body into. Got his hips, got his shoulders, turned the left foot right into that shot. And you see him Jumps celebrating. Up. You see the physique. I mean, you know, Angelo Dundee once told me that as stars fade out, as the Sugar Ray Leonard's and everybody else fade out, somebody else comes in. This guy is a future superstar. Here's the announcement, the official time, and it was quick. Boxing fans, the time, 38 seconds of round number one. The referee stops the contest. Your winner, still undefeated from New York, New York, Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen. Contingent, a lot of fans swarming. Peter Quillen, and deservedly so, as impressive a knockout as you'll see at any stage of a fighter's career. Great power in that left hand as he knocked out Steve Walker. Steve Walker didn't get much of a chance to establish himself. And you have to love the way he found the angle early on in that fight. 38 seconds into round number one, a knockout winner. Peter Quillen, hit chocolate, goes to 9 0. Oh. Looks like he's going to be moving up the ladder rather quickly. That's as good a display of power as we have seen in a long, long time.